Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum uh, Leap Morning Leap. My name is Doug McKay. I am the founder of Quantum Leap. We are a private group of traders. This is a subscription room. If you're interested in finding out more information about us, give me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com or give me a call. 647-545-8065. Before we get going, I need to uh, just do the disclaimers. Of course, we're starting late today. We've got a problem with Skype, uh, so uh, we're running a little bit late, so I'm going to keep this as short as possible. This information is for the purpose of educating members who want to expand the knowledge of the business of trading. It's not for trading or investment advice. You and only you are responsible for the trades or investment decisions you make. Trading futures or any instrument involves a risk of loss. Please consider carefully whether futures or options are appropriate to financial situation. Only risk capital should be used when trading futures or options. Investors could lose more than initial investment. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning area, passport Performance is not indicative of future results and any trades that you see in quantum leap for education purposes only. Please your own, use your own due diligence and your own trade metrics. Okay, so Friday we were expecting quad witching uh, as a rotational day. Uh, we definitely got a rotational day. We broke the IB to the upside, broke the IB to the low side, creating a neutral day. We closed inside of the value area, so we did not get a neutral extreme. Uh, but most of the afternoon, uh, once we got below the VWAP, I was looking for that move down into uh, the overnight low at 44 and a quarter. Uh, and we were trading that, uh, you know, waiting for that break the whole time. And with possible extension down to, uh, we had naked cross at uh, 41.50. And it took out the naked cross, then rallied on the close uh, and closed at uh, 19.51 and a quarter. Uh, news today, we've got uh, existing home sales, uh, we've got Lockhart speaking at uh, 1 p.m., and we've got 2.45, we've got the, uh, the Bank of Canada governor uh, speaking, so not a lot of news. The big one is going to be Bank of Canada, uh, and, you know, see if they raise rates or not. Okay, so I always like to start with the basic chart, as you know, looking at the different trends in the different time frames, working from the monthly all the way down to the uh, intraday, and looking at the trends. Uh, I use a 9 EMA, 20 SMA, I'm looking for slope and separation, and where the trend has been violated. You can see a strong trend up on the monthly. We closed below the uh, 9 and the 20 last month. We're continuing to, uh, to trade below it this month. Uh, so the trend is being challenged on the monthly. On the weekly, we had that uh, FUBAR tech gap, Mr. Uh, Sneaky, and uh, we went up and closed uh, that uh, tech gap uh, you know, on uh, Friday of last week. So far this week, we're trading below. We do have uh, a uh, slope and separation to the downside. So on the weekly, the trend is still intact and we have a downtrend on the weekly. On the daily, a little bit uh, uh, more consolidation on the daily. We did have that same tech gap, Mr. Sneaky Fubar, uh, closed it up, and then basically we've been in this consolidation and this, uh, and this range that we're in. Going to the intraday, <laughs> we have had a, uh, a downward trend, uh, but uh, it is being challenged right now. We've closed above the 9 and the 20. We do have a naked cross up here at 72 and a quarter. Mark that in your journal. But the trend is being challenged uh, to the downside on the 4-hour. On the 1-hour, we've actually got the start of an upward trend uh, on the 1-hour. Uh, Bit of a tech gap here. We've got another uh, naked cross here, 1948.50. Going to the 30-minute. A little bit more uh, slope and separation trend is uh, is uh, looking strong. Again, we've got a bit of a tech gap here, uh, likely to get closed somewhere between 57 and 60. But the trend is up on the 30 minute. On the 15 minute, same thing, strong trend up. We're stair stepping. Just close, came down, closed this tech gap uh, to the tech, but we're holding the nine so far. So the trend is up on the 15 minute. <coughs> Excuse me. And on the five-minute, uh, a little bit uh, 
more consolidation, but we broke below the 9 and the 20, so the trend is being challenged to the downside. We have a naked cross down here at 54. So kind of a mixed bag right now in terms of, uh, of trends coming into this RTH session. I think we're looking at uh, a, uh, most like a, likely a neutral day again today. Uh, neutral days have a tendency to uh, be followed by another neutral day. We're back inside of the uh, microcomposite VPOC from the breakdown day of the 21st. Uh, the value area has now shifted uh, up to 89 and a quarter and down to 13 and a quarter. And the microcomposite VPOC shifted back down now. It was up here in the uh, 70 range. Uh, it has now shifted uh, down into the 60.75, so the 60.75 is the most traded price going back to the 21st now. And uh, a lot of work to do in this area still, a lot of gaps, uh, a lot of undetermined fair value. Um, there's a little bit of a microcomposite LVN here at the uh, 65.50 that separates these two distribution zones uh, from the microcomposite. It's not as uh, as clear uh, showing on the composite, um, but I would be using that as a trade level. I'm going to actually put a CLVN there. And use that as a trade level, because if we get above it, we're likely to come back up into this, uh, this 68.50 challenge that and then if we break through a move up to 70. Uh, if we stay below the 65.50 then I'm looking for a rotational day and the possibility of getting stuck in this wick right here uh, with a downward bias down to the uh, 48.75. 48.75 still key line in the sand for us. Uh, below that then I'm looking for a bigger move down into that 43 again six day uh, micro microcomposite VPOC. Anything below the 40.50, I'm looking for a much bigger move down challenge uh, this uh, 1913 and a quarter and that uh, uh, 1912 area. Uh, and then below that, if we break uh, you know, below this 11 area, then I'd be looking for the challenge of that 06.75, uh, but I don't think it'll hold this time. I think we'll come down into the 1800s and uh, with the big target uh, back down here in the 1850.75. Uh, Not thinking that's going to happen today, but if we can't hold this balance area, then I think we're going to see some uh, testing of the uh, 1800s again. Um, so let's take a look at what we got overnight. Start moving our trade levels over. Oops. Overnight we have a high of 64 and a quarter. Now this could expand out. Um, we still have 30 minutes of trading and we're only four points uh, below it right now. And our overnight low is 38.50. And our current VPOC, very toothy profile uh, overnight. We've got basically three distribution zones. Um, key LVN is going to be this 50, uh, 5950 to hold. If we can't hold that, then I think we're going to get uh, a, a move down into that uh, 57 uh, and take out of the uh, naked VPOC from Friday. So I'm going to put a trade level uh, in there, an LVN at that, uh, in this whole area between, uh, you know, 57 and 59 is pretty thin. So I think we'll move through that pretty quickly. Uh, if it doesn't hold on this next push, you might want to even take the short into the 57 uh, prior to uh, the open. So 59.50 is going to be a trade area for me. Unfortunately, I can't trade it right now. Um, you know, cost of doing this uh, this uh, morning session. And then uh, the VPOC is up at 63.
which is basically one tick below the uh, the uh, value area high from uh, it's actually right on the value area high. What is it? 63, and the value area high is 63. So you've got the value area high and the overnight VPOC up here. If we can hold this 59.50, look for them to come out and uh, test the value area high, uh, retest the overnight value, and take out the overnight high at 64. Um, so this is going to be a major target for me right now. I'm going to front run it. Uh, at 62.75, um, I can also use the 63 as a trade level as well, uh, because if we break above it, I can take out the overnight high, and I've got a target to get funded uh, with. And then the 65.50 is that uh, uh, micro composite LVN, so I'm going to be using that. Uh, it's also the IB for a move up into the 67.50, but I'm really looking at the move back into the 69.70 area. I'm going to use uh, 69.75 as my target. Um, there's not a lot of other information. You know, there is an LVN here at uh, 51, but we're going to be using that 49.75 anyway. Um, so I don't really need this anymore, so let's take that out. So below here, the first target is 57. Second target is 55. I'm going to be watching this uh, 54 area for uh, for. Uh, whether or not we see responsive buyers stepping in there uh, to hold us above the VWAP and the midpoint from Friday. But below, below there, I'm looking for a move to take down the overnight uh, or the close on Friday, uh, the week settlement at uh, 1951 and a quarter. And then <clears throat> that key level we keep talking about, 48.75, the, uh, the IB, the uh, open, and the uh, value area low is all right there. So that is definitely going to be our key line in the sand. All right, because if we don't uh, hold that, then I'm looking for that bigger move down into the 43 uh, area. So that's my main target below the key line in the sand. And then we've got the 41 area with the CLVN just below it at 40.50. I'm going to actually use the, uh, the 41 and a quarter because I think that uh, if we break the range, uh, especially if we leave the overnight high alone, see, look, we're already down at that 57. Did anybody take the trade? No, Howard, uh, Skype is not working. That's why I emailed all the, uh, the uh, go-tos out. Um, anyway, that was an easy trade right there uh, with the break below the 59.50 down to the 57. I hope somebody uh, caught a little bit of that. Um, below the 40.50, I really don't think it's going to hold. I think the overnight high, oh, I'm sorry, the overnight low would be taken out. And then below that, there's not much uh, below here until we get into the 35 area, 34.75.35. So I'm going to target that at 35. And then 31. And 75. And then there's a little bit of support here. You've got 29.50 and 28.75. It's the six-day uh, value area low down here at uh, 28.75 with a CLVN at 29. I'm going to use the 28.75. Because below that, 
okay, I think we're going to come down. I mean, we've got the 2775, but I'm not even really watching that. I think this time we come down. We've left this 23, uh, 2175 area uh, alone uh, a couple times when we come down here. So if we get below the uh, 2875, get below this value area low, then I think that we're going to get the bigger move uh, down into the uh, 2123. You can use the 25 and a quarter. Now, as an area to add on to into this and then below that uh, you've got the 1875 and the real support I think comes in uh, down at 1750 and if we don't hold that then the move is all the way down here into the 1912 uh, area and I'm actually going to use the 1150 as the next key line in the sand because below 1150 I think we uh, actually come down and uh, test the uh, 08 and a quarter the 0675 and then it's 1999 uh, 75 I'm sorry 198 75 which is the real area I'm not thinking that 19 is the number I think it's the uh, 1898 uh, 75 um, and then below that we've got all the you know the areas that we are looking for I don't think we're gonna get down there today uh, but we do have to be prepared uh, to the upside uh, Above the uh, range, that 69.70 area uh, is key. And then above that, we've got a little bit of uh, uh, possible support coming in at uh, 82, I'm sorry, 75.50. Got a naked close there as well. And then above that, uh, I would be targeting uh, the 79 uh, and a quarter area. with 82 and then above 82 it's all about this 85 where they tried the, the two-day micro composite VPOC where they tried to uh, to uh, hold value uh, on the initial breakout remember our micro composite VPOC uh, coming up into Friday was at 76 75 it's now uh, sorry our micro composite value area high was at 1976 uh, 75 so uh, it's been shifted up but um, now it's been moved to 89 uh, move this to 89 and a quarter and then above that 95 99 and into the 2000s again so I'm really expecting a uh, a rotational day most likely a neutral day uh, you know I think we're going to get stuck in this wick here <clears throat> and our range is going to be anywhere from 70 to 49 below 49 then I'm looking for uh, a bigger move down into the 43 and probably getting our rotation down here uh, in the lower wick uh, it's gonna be a tough one to trade today uh, personally I think it's gonna be very whippy so let's just uh, take a look at <clears throat> the Keltner the Keltner center line is 61 uh, and a quarter the uh, lower line is 55. Look for that continuation down to that 55 uh, to test the VWAP and uh, midpoint from Friday. Um, and above uh, the 61, you move up into the 67 uh, area and the takeout of the overnight high and a test of this range high uh, up here. Um, gold. Um, those that were here early, I took uh, a gold trade this morning. Uh, I'm running long right now, uh, again, based on my favorite gold pattern, which is the FUBAR Tech Gap, Mr. Sneaky. Uh, I got in, got funded, and I've got my stop running right now at 11.30.90. Um, so hopefully I found a spot to get into gold, um, and hopefully it holds this time when we get a bigger move uh, up into uh, our next big destination, which is 
Um, do, 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 uh, back up here in the 1154-1155 area. Uh, if we can't hold the uh, the 2970, then I'm looking for a move down into this 1106 area again. But uh, so far we're holding, and we'll see uh, what happens. All right, that's going to complete this morning's session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip.